What's up everyone, welcome back to Funnel Hackers. My name's Matt, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about Instagram. Now, so many people do not use the Instagram bio or their stories correctly, or at least to the best of their abilities. So in this video, we're gonna dive into my phone, and I'm actually gonna show you how I would set up an Instagram bio and how to properly use stories correctly. So, without further ado, we're gonna jump into my phone and take a look. All right, so we're in my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Instagram. Now we're on my page. As you guys can see, I've stated my name clearly in the bio, it says Matt Kirk. And then below that I have entrepreneur. In the business settings on Instagram, you get to choose a lot of different categories. And so depending on your niche and what you wanna label yourself as, you can search through that. And I, I highly recommend it because it gives you insights, it gives you stats, it gives you a whole bunch of stuff to help you grow your Instagram. So then I have these three bullet points listed, founder of Funnel Hackers, I answer all my DMs, and I teach people how to quit their nine to five job. Now, each one of these is stating clearly exactly what I do. I like to have these three bullet points because I think it looks clean. You could do dashes, you could do emojis. I choose bullet points just so it's straight and to the point, and it's just something that I think looks good. So my first bullet point says founder of Funnel Hackers. So immediately, if somebody wants to check that out, they can click on the Funnel Hackers, go to my page, check it out, see the content that I have, uh, and I obviously have a similar setup in this bio. The next thing, I answer all my DMs. Now I capitalize all and DMs just because I want people to DM me. I want them to ask what I do, I want to give value to them and not just be some person that follows them and they follow me back maybe and we never interact with each other, right? You don't wanna have inactive followers. So it's important that you DM people uh, and that you give them the opportunity to DM you. And by stating this in the bio, I've clearly let them know to DM me. And then the third point is just letting people know what I do. I teach people how to quit their nine to five job. And then the uh, most important thing, you guys, is the link in here. So many people don't utilize this link. And so I basically put my YouTube link in it. You can put anything in it from a YouTube link, a link to a website. If you're you know, doing a GoFundMe, you could literally put anything in. And I highly suggest that you do something with that if you're not already because it's there, right? Instagram gives you this when you go over here. See this right here? This is where you put your link. It's just important because why would you leave that open? And then right above that, obviously, I leave a call to action, new YouTube video exclamation point, basically telling people to go check it out. And I put the little arrow, so hopefully they're more willing to click on that once I put that little arrow. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a couple other people's Instagram bios and how they relate to mine. So this is Jake Paul's account. Obviously, most everyone knows who he is. Jake Paul has a very good call to action in his bio. He's got new clothing drop in all caps because that's obviously what he wants people to do is go buy his merchandise. And you can see the little finger pointing down. It doesn't necessarily point exactly to his link, but you get the picture of what he wants you to do. And that's the main thing, right? He's not advertising his YouTube in here. He's not advertising something else, which a lot of people do. He wants to sell his clothing. So he has the new clothing drop and that's literally the only thing he's got in his bio. So that's really the only thing that he wants you guys to do. This is Gary Vaynerchuk's page. Anyone that's an entrepreneur is usually familiar with what he's got going on. As you can see, he's got uh, emojis like I mentioned earlier. It looks pretty clean to me. He lets you know exactly what he's done. He's an investor in Facebook, Snapchat, Venmo, and Uber. And then he lets you know that he's the CEO of VaynerMedia and Vayner Sports. He's got those added in his bio. So if you wanna go check those out, you can literally just click on it and it'll take you straight to the page. And then he's got the wine thing down at the bottom. If you drink wine, please support. It doesn't really have an arrow or any finger pointing down towards the link, but you get the picture because you can see empathywines.com is linked in his bio. So this is Jack Galinsky's profile. Obviously, he's pretty similar to Jake Paul as far as what he's got in his call to action in his bio. It says tour tickets in all caps with the finger pointing down to the link. In this day and age, it's so easy to get free music that it's hard for musicians to make money through online and so they're either selling merch or they're encouraging you to go buy tickets to their their concerts or their tour so he's you know basically pushing you to go get tickets go uh, check him out and see him live so i think this is pretty good as well not as in depth but as you can see he doesn't want you getting lost by you know looking through a bunch of stuff in his bio he literally just wants you to see that one thing 
and then go take action and buy a ticket. So kind of to sum up the bio, I think it should you know look clean, whether you're gonna use bullet points, dashes, let people know exactly what you wanna do, what you want them to accomplish, let them know exactly who you are, and you know you don't, you don't get that many characters within the Instagram bio, so you have to strategize and be smart about how you go about it. So I think you should really take advantage of using the link, like I have linked my YouTube, and if you guys have other accounts, if you have a Shopify page, if you have anything really, go ahead and put that in the bio at yourself. That way you can link it up basically to get more followers or just let people know exactly what you do. So the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on my face here and we're going to go ahead and put up a picture right here. So I have this cool picture. I'm gonna go ahead and put a quick filter on it. I really like Jakarta because it makes everything stand out, if you can see that. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this little face. It's three over from the top, this little smiley face. And I'm going to click on hashtag. Now this is what I was talking about in the intro because when you use certain hashtags, you can actually get more followers or more views at least. And I'm gonna show you right now a hashtag that I used about a week ago and it got me a lot more views. Okay, so this is it you guys. I obviously had four stories up this day, but the one that got the most hits was the hashtag the office. So if you can see, I hashtag the office in my story. And from that, I got 373 viewers, which basically doubled my normal amount of viewers. Usually I get between three to 400, which is not bad, but this brought me up to 600, which is super good. And you can just see that a lot of other people were able to check out my page uh, or at least see this story. So when you link up hashtags, you have the potential to get anywhere from two to 600 views extra that aren't even from your own followers. So we're gonna go ahead and hashtag business here, just so you guys can see. Now, keep in mind, I'm using this hashtag from up here. I'm not just clicking on it and I'm not just going with the hashtag business because it doesn't work as well. I've tried that and I don't get more views. This is the way you want to go about it. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to the bottom and I'm going to center it up right there. And now I'm going to post something kind of motivational. I'm gonna go ahead and center this up and go down here and write a little something else. And I'm bringing this, I'm gonna bring it up, make it bigger and go ahead and perfect right there. So as you can see, I use the hashtag business. I think that I will probably get some extra views, but play around. There's a lot of different ones that you can use as far as getting more views and getting people to actually come to your page, check it out, like your pictures and engage if you get them from any certain hashtag. So now we're gonna go ahead and post this on my story. All right, so we're live. The story is posted and I've got four viewers so far, which is cool. Already got one viewer from the business hashtag, so you guys can see that it's working already. Hopefully I'll you know, get anywhere from 50 to 150. But that's it, you guys, pretty simple stuff. Make sure your bio is clear and clean and, and good to the point, and then make sure you guys are posting stories with hashtags, and I guarantee that's gonna boost your followers. It's not by a lot, but it's going to help for sure, and it's just gonna boost your engagement. Okay, so after taking a look at that and going through step by step, hopefully you guys have a little better understanding of how to properly use a bio and how to properly use stories to get more followers. So if you guys like this video, please throw me a thumbs up. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that button right there, subscribe to the Dream Team. And if you guys have a question, go ahead and drop it in the comment box below. I'd love to answer. So until the next video, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.